Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, finally, Microsoft today answers the users. They have probably been overwhelmed by the number of complaints of this update. So here is what's going to happen right now. So Microsoft today did uh, issue a statement saying that they are aware that for a um, big number of users, the update KB5034441, that is uh, issued for Windows 10 actually creates an error message. Now, the funny thing is they say that the recovery uh, space required needs to be at least 250 megabytes, but it's not enough. Uh, even on 500 megabytes machines, a lot of users are saying it doesn't work. So it's it's really a little more complex than what they're actually saying. But now, what they are saying is that you have two choices. The choice number one, of course, and some of you have applied this, is to change the recovery partition size. Um, in Windows, you can use software like Mini Tools and stuff like that to um, do it. Now, of course, the majority of you will not do it and don't want to do it. And I, once again, do say don't touch anything. Okay, there's it's not for us to do that. Um, it's to Microsoft to issue uh, updates that should actually do things either automatically uh, on their own or, um, you know, you can't you can't ask users to do something like that. Uh, once again, for those saying, well, you know, that's why Microsoft needs more testing. And it's not, the update is not flawed. The update was pushed with the uh, request by Microsoft that people should play around with their partitions. So it's not a flawed update. It's somebody somewhere not thinking about who you are addressing updates to. So what Microsoft says at this point is that they are going to address the issue in a future update. So I would guess that one of the things they might do is either look at if BitLocker is not on your system, not being used, that maybe they're not going to do anything. Or what I think they might do is a future update will actually resize the partitions automatically. I'll do it without you having to do anything, which would be the best thing. Actually, this update, if it did require more space, should have come with, we're going to have a script that will automatically, you know, resize or at least do something to make sure that, you know, it can install in a different way. So um, that's the response of Microsoft today is two choices. Wait, which is what I would say to do or resize your partition for the update to actually work. So at least Microsoft's answering back and they are saying that a fix will eventually be issued to uh, the error message of this update that those have right now. So um, wait for it, just be patient. At some point, something's gonna happen. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.